Hi there, Dana Alexander here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. Um, I'm just popping on to give you guys my tips for doodle feet, uh, doodle puppy grooming in general, and we're gonna do this puppy's head on live as well. Uh, this is a first time groom puppy. It's uh, some kind of Aussie doodle, burn doodle. She's doing super awesome. So this is the stage you need to be at before you start scissoring. So we have our body done in a one inch. We have faded into natural legs just above the elbow and about mid thigh. Okay, and we've done our inside areas a little bit shorter in a half inch. I've done the belly chest area in a half inch. And we are ready now to scissor. Our paw pads are done, our groin is done. This is what it should look like before you start scissoring. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how we're going to set the feet and scissor these legs up quick. I'm going to move along very quickly so you guys can see uh, what is possible for speed, okay? So my first step is always to come comb everything out towards myself. I'm going to come in and level off everything with the toe pads all the way around. And I am going to move at my normal speed today just because I am in a bit of a hurry to get this girl done. So forgive me for that. Always do at least once or twice. So we've got a little area there to pull out. Level off with the pads. And I'm coming slightly up. That's how you're gonna get that nice level bubble. Now when I set my foot down, you can see that my comb touches nothing. All the way underneath, all the way around the foot, which sets up my foot. So we're gonna to move to the front of the foot now. Foot up, comb down. I'm gonna set my shears slightly angled under. I'm going to do my first cut right to the nails. Again, it's key that you angle under. I'm going to do my second cut, lying just dusting into the natural hair. Again, angled slightly under, not straight up and down. See how I angle my shear. And then I just take off the corners. That's how you get a round foot every single time without making a point. I'm going to fluff up the foot. And then I'm going to come in using the angle of my curve shear to do the work for me. And now it's just in the wrist movement, back and forth. I'm slightly dusting. Here my table. Once I set the foot its weight down, I'm gonna comb and adjust. Got a few little adjustments to do here. Always adjust your feet once you put the weight back on the foot. Okay, so we've got that adorable doodle foot. I've already sculpted her rear end a bit, but I'll just show you guys quick. Tail out of the way, comb up. So my next uh, focus is the profile. I'm gonna do her back profile first. I'm gonna use my curve shears up her rear. I've taken out the inside area shorter, which saves me time in scissoring. Now I'm gonna use my curve shears the opposite way. Sorry guys. That gets that sculpted. And you wanna be very careful on the hawk. Big hawks gives a nice look to the foot. Because we took this all out in a 40, you can see we've already set in an angle. So all I need to do is lift that up and just follow through. All I'm doing is laying my shears with that angle and following through. Just slightly rounding it. But I do wanna leave the hawk mostly natural. It's gonna give a nicer shape to that leg. Now I'm gonna focus on my front profile. So everything forward. I'm gonna come to my curve shear. And it's like, Cutting out a picture. Just remember, you need to round that picture. It's not 2D, it's 3D. Okay. This area I like to leave somewhat natural. She's not very long here, so I'm just going to dust that in. Now, last but not least, I need to look at my inside view. So if you guys want to pop behind me, I'm going to come in from this view. I'm going to comb out this inside. Because I took the inside quite short already, I only have this little layer in here. So I'm gonna come in and scissor that layer. Make sure that's all the way followed through right to the foot, it's nice and clean. Make sure, because this is what sets you apart from an average groomer to a very good groomer is all these little detailed areas. So you don't wanna miss any of them. Okay, coming into my my underline, just following through. Again, because I took the belly shorter than the body, one inch body, 
I used a half inch on the belly undercarriage. I only have a little curtain to scissor. You see that? This is all short under here. So I've just got this little tiny curtain to scissor, which again, saved me a ton of time. So I don't have to keep layering all underneath here. Okay, holding the arm up to follow that line through. So following through my underline again, I only have a little curtain because I took all under here shorter. So that saves me having to layer back and forth. Foot down, double check your leg by coming down. Looks beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the front leg. Same process, we're gonna come, start with our bottom, comb everything towards ourselves, coming in with my curved shears, and I'm leveling everything with those toe pads. I'm going to come in, stuff out some little areas I missed. Make sure those paw pads, you can also use your 40 just to level off those paw pads too. You want to go just lightly away from the paw pads. Now when I set that foot down, see I've got my comb can just hover underneath that without catching any hair. I'm going to come, turn the foot towards me. My first cut, same as the back with a slightly angled under right at the nails. See, I can feel the nails right there. Okay, second cut, I'm just gonna dust it into the natural hair. Both sides, and now take my corners off. This is how you don't end up making a pointy foot. Okay. This is her very first one. Getting tired, so don't worry. I'll let you lay down with your head. Fluff the foot up, set with my base nice and close to the front. I've scissored the front, so that's where I'm going to set my base, and I'm going to allow the curve of my shear to set the rest. So all I have to do is wrist movement back and forth. I'm just lightly taking off the tips. Scissoring should be adding that polished finish, it shouldn't be reinventing the dog. Your clipper work prep work should do that. So now set the weight back on the foot. It's always going to be a little different once you put the weight down. So now this little toe's popped out. So we got to come in and adjust that. Coming around. Sorry. Okay. Let's check this side. Okay. Now I like to start on the back of my front leg. I'm going to comb everything towards the back. Make sure you get the layer underneath as well. And now I'm going to come in with my straight shears. I like to start at an angle from the elbow. I get that inside layer as well. Outside layer. Then I start to come straight down. Now because we did this in a 40 under here, we're just going to lightly follow through that angle to the foot. Now this is a doodle pet groom. Okay? And this is just what I find most owners absolutely love this haircut so once I get that back cut I'm gonna comb down always comb down to check your work I see a little bit more than I need to get I'm also trying to get as much of this inside layer notice where my body is I'm sitting back and I can see this inside layer so I'm coming in and my body's positioned way at the back of the dog that's how I'm able to get my shears in there. That's how I like to get it. Once this layer is done, when I lift up this front leg to do the inside layer, it's going to be really easy for me to see where I should go. Okay. Scissoring is all about following lines if you know where to go. So now I'm going to hold her leg forward. Slightly comb sideways. I'm just going to dust this in. I know I've already done under here, so I don't need to do that. And just slightly dust it. And of course, you could use chunkers or thinning shears if you're not comfortable with straight shears. Almost done, girl. I need to lay down. She's super tired. She wants to lay down. But see, when I comb all this down, under here is already scissored. So again, I only have a little curtain to scissor, which saves me, again, a ton of time. See how I can just line that up because it's just a little curtain. So that's how you can do your scissoring a lot faster. I'm going to comb out and down and just dust and touch up. And doing these more natural legs on puppies, 
is going to save you a ton of time. And it gives them a really good experience the first time. So we've got our cute little legs. Oh, that's your tail. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's move on to the head. Listen her up here. Come on, baby girl. Just come, take her feet out, and lay her down. And I like to train all of them to lay down, and this is where I start, right at puppyhood. So I'm just going to lay her down. This little cow holds up, lay her down. And then if she doesn't want to lay down, we'll just, just work with it. They'll usually lay down by the end of it. So I'm going to comb everything out. So I did a one inch on her body, so I'm going to come back with my one inch. So just like we did on the live earlier, you need to find her head. The neck, body, head all need to be separated. So I'm going to come in at the base of the skull. Feel that base of the skull. That's where I'm coming in, lightly over the ears, and wrap that clipper around the ears, feeling the base of the skull there. Following through in the neck. And really wrapping around that ear. This is going to set up my cheek line when we lift up her ear. Just over the ear. Clipper, again, feel the side of her ear and her skull against your clipper, right against this side. See how when I wrap underneath around the ear, that's gonna set up my face. So wrapping right around. With guard combs, you wanna make sure you're combing everything out. I can tell it's not clipping quite properly. So combing out, and repeat. Take your time, slow it down if you're not getting the cut that you want. Okay. So now we have, when I lift up this ear, can you guys see how we've carved out the shape of our face? So I'm gonna come in, comb out. The side of our face should be a circle. Nose to base of the ear, top of the head, a circle. So we're looking really good. We come look at this side. Same thing, see we've been able to carve that out. Now I'm going to take out a lot of her chin. This is a girl. So I'm going to come in. I'm only going to leave a little goatee. See how she's quite short all around the front of the muzzle naturally? We need to, excuse me, work with that. This is her first time, so she's a little bit scared there. So I just gave her a moment. And now I'm coming in. It's a really awesome puppy for her first time. Now I'm not going too wide. I want to leave enough cheek hair for me to scissor a nice shape. I'm also going to come reverse just in the bottom part because I know this area over the Adam's apple is going to poof out and we don't want that. Okay, so now we're down. So now we have a clear neck, head, body on the dog. So next I'm going to, when you have a dog whose body's been done in a one inch, you're often like, okay, so how do I do a head that's longer than a one inch? So I'm gonna come in with my one inch and I'm not going full strength. I'm just gonna go very lightly towards the front, but I'm sweeping off at the front. You see how I'm leaving the brow? And I'm just gonna come all forward, even the cheeks forward. Just lightly over the ear. Go feet on this side, lightly, not full strength. I just wanna help myself save some time in scissoring and give myself some direction to go. Okay, so we got that top set in. I'm gonna flip the ear over. And I'm going to do the cheek a little bit more full strength underneath the ear. And I'm setting it up to follow that jawline through with her natural muzzle hair. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm being very cautious as I come to the muzzle that I come this direction. If I just come and carve this in, you're gonna have a big line here and then this poofy muzzle. We don't want that. We want everything to be cohesive and work together. Okay. I'm gonna come up by the eyes and I'm gonna finish her hair. So you can see we have no eyes there. So I'm coming in, remember this side's blunt, so you can come right in. Again, this is her first time. Just 
it starts to protest, I just let go and restart. Sometimes I just want to stretch their jaws too. Now she's got quite a bit of hair here, but I'm going soft because a lot of judo people, they like that very soft look. Coming in, gently fluffing up with my comb. And now the finishing, you need to go softer. And, this, and I'm very much focusing this little area right between the eyes. Make sure you get that out. Okay, once I've found my eyes in there, I'm gonna set the sides of my head. So I'm gonna comb out. Again, how you comb is vital. Coming underneath and stretching out. Now we're gonna take, we have to do more shaping, more natural scissoring with this because we weren't able to take it full strength because her body's on one inch, we're going longer than one inch. So I'm angling my shears towards the ear because I want it quite short in front of the ear. And then I'm just gonna start lightly dusting out towards her eyes. I've got the general length, I just wanna give it some shape, okay? See that? Always repeat. Every time you repeat, it should be less and less. So don't reinvent it, just dust it. Okay, coming in the other side. What you do to one side, repeat on the other side. So angling my shear in towards the ear and taking that very short. And then I'm lightly coming out and just dusting. Repeat. Remember every time you repeat, should be less and less than the first time. Okay, now do you guys see how we have the sides of our head set in? So now we can flip our ears back over. She's got adorable ears. And now I'd like to find her eyes. So we're going to comb everything forward. I'm going to come in with my curved shears. Make sure I'm laying that muzzle hair down. And I'm going to come in to the outside corner of the nose. Same on this side. Outside corner of the nose. I'm not worrying about the whole brow right now. I just want to find her eyes. Coming that up, taking a look. And now you'll see that we're left with this little bit of a V visor. So now I'm gonna lay my shears underneath, slightly angled underneath, and follow through side to side with what the cut I already made. Now this stage, we're gonna fluff up and take a look because we do want that very fluffy puppy look. So I don't want to end up sloping her head and taking too much out. She has really cool eyes. Look at the one that's half whitish blue. It's pretty cool. Now she's kind of looking around because I don't think she's seen the world in a while. Okay, I'm going to fluff the top of her head. So now I'm going to look at the top of her head and see what works with her natural shape. And, and lightly dust. And notice that I'm controlling the scissoring by controlling her head. I'm moving my shear and her head at the same time. See that? This is how I'm able to get that nice look. You have to control both. If she resists, I let go and start again. And this is also how we get them trained for this. Okay. Coming in, scissoring. As soon as she resists or wants to wiggle, that's why I just readjust. It just teaches her I need her to hold still. There we go. Want to lay down? Good girl. She's thinking about it. And I really like to train them to lay down. Okay. And I just keep combing and checking. See? We got this side here that needs to get dusted. Okay. What you do to one side, do to the other side. Keep checking. But I'm always lining up into what I already scissored on the side of the head. Okay, it should just be little bits. Don't over scissor. We want that nice fluffy look. Okay, every time I do, I'm gonna see something else and just lightly dust it in. Again, control the head and your scissoring. Okay, and I like to double check by these eyes. I don't like it to be too heavy. If I'm concerned about using my uh, finishing shears, I'll just come in with my thinning shears just to lighten it up. And I like to take a little bit out under the eye just to soften it. Because I find sometimes these doodles you can have just a little too much overhang. Okay, 
So we've got our top of our head, our side of our head. I like to pull up the center and make sure I really clear this area. You know, this is what's gonna open up her eyes as well. So you can still keep that cute look, but not take the top of the head too short. Because I know you guys get that a lot. Where owners are like, yeah, it's too much hair in the eyes, you know, but you guys still want to leave a cute head. They want a big one inch body and then they want you to take the head short. This is how you can get the best of both worlds. Okay, I'm gonna comb her muzzle out and I'm gonna follow that jawline. In this case, I'm gonna take one big chunk out and comb through just because her muzzle is quite a bit poofier than her than what's left, so I want it to match. So I need to debulk it first. We're gonna do one more. Okay, so it's debulked now. That's gonna allow it to lay down before I scissor it, okay? It's better for me to debulk it than to layer it all. Otherwise, it's just gonna fly up with this kind of hair. I'm gonna use the comb side of my thinning shear and comb through, through the coat. That's gonna help learn the hair to wrap underneath. I know you want to take a nap. Why don't you lay down? Lay down, baby girl, lay down. Oh, she's like, I'd rather itch. <laughs> No more itching. She just got her ears done for the first time, so she's probably like, what the heck? There's breeze everywhere. Wrapping underneath, combing through the hair, okay? Okay, what we do to one side, let's repeat on the other side. Flip that ear. Almost done, girl. Hang on there. You've been such a good puppy. So this side, we have a bit of work just by our neckline. Make sure it's all finished. Coming in with my finish shears. Again, we need to debulk. One, two, debulk that. See how that gets it to lay nicely? Don't try and scissor something if it's not laying nicely for you. Debulk it first, then go in and scissor. Stop. You're fine, good girl. Okay, and then comb underneath. Just wait, just wait, we're almost done. She's like, I'm done with you. You've been such a good puppy. The puppy has been extraordinary, honestly. For a first time groom, you're a pretty awesome puppy. And come this way, hold it the other way. And look, I'm just combing through with the tooth side of my thinning shears. And come back front and make sure that the front is looking good. She's a bit impatient, so I'm going to come in with my straight shears just so it's quicker. And I'm also going to take out this area in the neck because it poofs out and we don't want that. We want a separate head, neck, chest. Okay? Last but not least, she is a girl, so I want to take off a little bit of this front muzzle just to give her a bit of a softer look. I'm taking off anything that is not level with her nose. Okay, lightly rounding up. What you do to one side, repeat on the other side. And lightly dust the top of her nose, just lightly. I wanna have her a nice fuzzy nose, but I do wanna lightly dust it. And now when I comb that back, it's gonna nicely blend into her muscle. You see that? So it's a nice little trick to get that going. Almost done, girl. And last, I just wanna come in and edge her lips so she doesn't have any of that, this stuff that's growing in her mouth. And make sure her goatee's nice and tidy. And last but not least, you guys know me, we aim that head down, comb out, and see it and listen. So I'm just going to come in and comb over, scissor anything that's poking out. Okay? What we do to one side, let's repeat on the other side. Aim the head down. All the center, last step. Comb out. And scissor anything that isn't matching. And you guys know, with puppies, we do the best we can. That is everyday pecker, we keep telling them. If they get their tongues, I just do a light little squeeze just before I scissor. Okay, 
So that is our cute little doodle face on a brand new puppy. One inch body, faded into natural legs. I find this is a cut that the doodle owners just love. It's cute, it's easy, it's fast for us groomers, which is what we want with these puppies that have very little patience. <laughs> She's super cute, you are way cute. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'm Dan Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. I hope those tips were helpful and we'll talk to you guys soon.